Liz, thanks for helping me set up my campaign. No problem Johnny. I'm real sorry Liz, but my name for the campaign is Sexy Dude. Alright then, Sexy Dude. Hey, you missed it. A few hours ago I was gonna turn into Elvis forever, but my friend Nerd Dude helped me out. Nerd Dude? Yeah Nerd Dude, you know, Samir. Oh. Okay. How did he save you from going full Elvis? To be honest, I have no clue. Probably the power of friendship or something. Ah, uh, I see. Well then. Will I be seeing you tomorrow at the election? You bet you will. I'm gonna become the new mayor and send this town off the right direction and into the path of all righteousness. Okay, Mr. Mayor. Haha. -ha. See you tomorrow, Mr. Mayor. I have to focus on the campaign. There's something about Liz. I'm not sure. Could it be? Love? Coming. Oh? Mr. Gandhi? I thought you died? Not to sound rude, that is. No, you fool. It is me, Nerd Dude. Nerd Dude? What happened? I am afraid I have figured out that the condition is contagious. But how did you contract it? Is it like sneezing or something? Look, at least I know the cure. Kiss me. Yo, what the hell? No homo, bro. Stop joking around and tell me how you contracted it. I have reason to believe that I contracted it while kissing you to cure you. Dude, why the hell you even kiss me in the first place? Because. Because? Dude, what the hell? Go figure out your problems, then come ask for help. My problems? Fucking bitch. I'm not the one who fucking ate vomit to turn into fucking Gandhi and then Elvis. How the shit does that work anyways? I don't fucking know. If you're gonna yell at me then get the fuck out. I've get a date with Liz after my speech tomorrow and I don't want it to be ruined. Hoes before bros. Hoes before bros. What kind of fucked up man are you to call a woman a hoe? Plus that no way to talk to your best friend. Ex-best friends. You kissed me freak, then you come here asking it again, and now you yell at me. Freak? You homophobic son of a- Just get out. Fine. What just happened? I can't believe it. What is even the point in living? Ah. What the? We will rock you. Wait, what the? What is happening? I need to go tell someone. But not sexy. I mean. But not Johnny because he won't listen. I need someone that will. And so, in less than a month, we can double our profits. We will be rulers of the world. The world of stock exchange. I see. Very interesting. Any news on the one who we fooled? Yes sir, would you like to hear a report? Yes. I would like that. The gates of our home shall be filled with his screams. No not him. The other one. Oh I understand. Our plan is working great, he was turned back just in time. I see. Thank you for the report. That will be all. May I ask sir, why you do this? My plan is not to be explained. It would ruin the punchline if that's what I wish to refer to it as. If it is given a reason. A point. It would be meaningless. A joke ruined. A fruit spoiled. It would serve if no purpose to you. Unless you would like to join them in their demise. Of course not sir, I wish nothing but to serve you and will not question you again. Good. And make sure that it stays that way, or you and the surviving members of your family will be damned to the flames of hell. Burning because of your foolish desire to know something of which you would not comprehend. Yes my sire, I understand. Good. That will be all as throughout you may go. Yes my liege. Hey, you're Johnny's election rival, Brett Beals. Please, call me by my campaign name, Political Dude, or just Mr. Beals. So, Mr. Gandhi Mercury, what exactly do you need help on? 
You better plan on never calling me Mr. Gun. Oh. Now I know how Johnny felt. Well if you want I can just turn you back into Salmir. I'm sorry what was that? What just happened? What do you think dum dum? Mr. Beals is that you? Oh wait. Mr. Beals. Above, I get it now. Johnny, or sexy dude as you once called him, made a deal with me a while back. I granted his wish to win the election, but I rigged it. So later that afternoon I had a demon from hell vomit in his sleeves. He ate it, that crazy motherfucker, and so here we are. What the hell? Hey watch it pal that's my home. Why wouldn't he tell me that? I am. I was his best friend. Oh boohoo, how sad. Now listen up. I'm giving you 2-3 hours to make up as friends, or else Johnny will live the rest of his life as Elvis, not remembering his past, and you will be dragged down into the pits of hell for an eternity. Oh okay I understand. JK, kinda confused and enraged at the same time. Okay. Bye bye. Oh what the hell? Guess I have to deal with this shit now. Hey, that was a great speech. Yeah, well that was because you were there to help me out. Oh, that's not true. Yes it is, you know Liz, hey, mind if I go there? Not at all haha. -ha. Hey Liz, I need to tell you something. And what's that? Johnny? I think, I think I love you. Funny enough I was just about to say the essay. Uh, hold on let's see who it is. It's someone we know because they have a key. Brett? Brett Beals? My competitor? Hey calm down, I just wanted to congratulate you on the speech. Oh, thank you. Hey you look like someone I've met before, but never mind that because I am sure my interaction with the devil was all a dream. Jeez thanks for calling me the devil. Oops sorry. I didn't mean for it to come off that way. All is forgiven my brother. Hey, did you hear? Word going around is that Silmir is going to try to sabotage your next speech. Oh, is he now? That no life traitor, what's he gonna do next? But don't worry, I'll keep a close eye on him, in three hours, you won't ever remember he was a problem at all. Great. If you remember anything at all. What now? Nothing, just go along now. Alright, thanks man.